Yes, you can vacuum form EVA foam, and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is one I did the other day with four millimeter foam, and you can see the depth at which you can get with a, just a regular vacuum cleaner. Okay, good. That's the intro. Okay, I am going to take this four millimeter EVA foam, low density, that I picked up from uh, TNT Cosplay, and I'm gonna show you the framing system that you need to put it in. You can't put it in a regular vacuum forming frame system. You have to have uh, some pretty rigid uh, textures on the inside. This is 32 grit sandpaper belt that I took and I glued it to the frame. Uh, the EVA foam doesn't stretch like normal styrene may when you vacuum form. Uh, there's a lot of tension on it. So you need something to hold it into the frame very strong. So I am going to take this foam that's cut. It's a 18 by 24. and uh, put it in my frame. I'm just gonna put clips on it. Now we have these clips that go on the end, and these are very important. If we don't have these on, the foam will pull out of the frame during the vacuum forming. There we go. Uh, now we can go outside and do some vacuum forming. Okay, we're outside at the vacuum forming table where I do almost all, well, I do all my vacuum forming out here. It gets pretty fumey. Uh, the EVA foam kicks out a lot of fumes. And uh, let's get a close up of the table, or not the table, but the heating unit. There's the heating unit down here. It's a 1500 watt uh, uh, shop heater and I took the arms off of it, the wall mounts, and I'll put a link down below the video on where you can get this at. And here's the heating box, and it's very simply made, just made out of particle wood, and inside, it's just aluminum foil that I spray mounted to the walls with some Super 77. It is amazing how the tin foil reflects the heat off the wood so when this heats up really hot it'll get over 350 degrees but the wood on the outside is just very cool and then if you can take a shot inside here just the heating part of the heater is exposed the rest of it is on the outside of the box there we go put this up here Excuse me, a little bit of allergies today. And we got an airplane flying over. <laughs> We're in the flight path. Putting on some uh, Kevlar gloves, some heat resistant gloves. Okay, now the receiving box right here, uh, it's just a single hole and uh, that's all that's really needed for something like this. Uh, then I also have uh, little gaps or little uh, spacers here so we get some good airflow around the head. And also you probably notice I have the eyeballs drilled out too so they'll get some airflow in there too. And that'll work. Uh, the outside borders right here, it's just a four mil, a millimeter high density EVA foam that I glued down. Uh, uh, here are some uh, guide brackets that I put in there. They're just hanging in there pretty loose. That way I can disassemble this and stack it really easy. Let's see, anything else? Oh yeah, uh, I only have one vacuum former working today. Uh, we ha I usually do two, and I've done one before and it works pretty good. Uh, but our vacuum former uh, just died a few minutes ago. We have no idea why, so we're just gonna run one. So I plugged up one of the other holes here, and you, you'll get to see how good just one vacuum cleaner works. Uh, if you're using a home vacuum cleaner, make sure you take out the, uh, the uh, bag out of it. That way uh, you have least resistance or less resistance uh, when you're vacuum forming. I'm trying to think of any other tips uh, that might be good to talk about. Before we got, get heating, um, <clears throat> 
really quick vacuum forming EVA foam is not like styrene. Uh, it doesn't slump down at the beginning when you heat it up. It'll, it'll buckle a little bit, but then it draws really tight like a drum. And so, uh, so that's why you have to put more force down when you vacuum form EVA foam. You also have to flip it quite often or else it'll burn on one side in order to get it evenly heated all the way through. And uh, the thicker the foam, the more you have to keep flipping it. And uh, let's see, probably the only foam you don't have to flip is two millimeter foam. Uh, but anything higher than that, you have to flip. I vacuum form from two millimeter high density foam all the way up to 10 millimeter foam. Uh, the higher the thickness, the less definition, of course, you're gonna have. And the harder it is to get really good depth so if you're using 10 millimeter, uh, you're probably just going to be doing a, a subtle curve of things, uh, maybe a shield. Uh, this is four millimeter, so we should be able to, to get a really good pull on this. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. Okay, the heating unit's going. Uh, I have to make sure that when the heating is done, I unplug the heater and then plug in the vacuum former. Because it's pulling 15 amps, if I run the vacuum cleaner and the heater at the same time, I'm probably gonna pop a fuse. Trip a fuse. We don't have fuses anymore, do we? So trip a breaker, we'll trip a breaker. Okay, right away, uh, it's starting to slump down just a little bit. I'm probably gonna flip it. While this is heating up, um, if I had multiple things, I'll just set this here. I have this nifty little pad I can put down, it has pimples in it, and I can set two different objects there. And then that way there's good airflow around them all. But when I'm only doing one object, I just use uh, the single hole system there. Let's flip this again. <clears throat> There's a lot of distortions going on right now, some moguls up and down. And so uh, as it heats up and when it gets closer to being ready, it'll pull really tight and be pretty smooth. Okay, I'm, tr suck, Dave. I'm trying to think of questions <laughs> you guys may be having out there about vacuum forming. Uh, it is different than the foam or the styrene uh, if you've done styrene before so uh, you will be wasting if you build one of these boxes and, and they're pretty cheap to build maybe you know uh, getting rid of the vacuum cleaner uh, just the materials alone and the heating unit probably hundred twenty dollars maybe 150 tops so it's pretty cheap uh, it doesn't take a high skill to build these boxes I'll have plans for these uh, at, on a link right below the video on YouTube here. It's probably time to flip this again. There we go. It's getting tight and it's starting to feel like it's almost ready to uh, to vacuum form here. <clears throat> uh, you're probably going to go through and ruin quite a few pieces so buy a lot more foam than you need and just experiment with it until you get the hang of it. Yeah. It's pretty soft. So it's almost time to put this on there. It's hard to tell, I burnt the surface right here ever so slightly, so I wanna make sure the other side is face up. I'm gonna put this side face up. That way it'll be a nice clean edge. I'm getting ready to uh, switch the heater with the vacuum cleaner now. Here we go. Not bad at all. Okay, we're going. Welcome back to the studio. Here we go. We did the pull. Uh, I guess the pattern's still in there, so we got to pull this out. Urgh. And it comes out pretty easy because it's foam. So there's nothing rigid holding it in. There we go, really nice. Nice depth. 
So you can cut this out and cut out the eyes, make a mask out of it, uh, add some detail to that. So yeah, um, so we have a really nice good fold off there and you can see the kind of detail that you can get off for a millimeter, which is you know fairly thick foam and so we're getting pretty good detail for that. Uh, it could also be a hat. There we go, yes. <laughs> Uh, you can do a lot of things with that. I'm sure you can use your imagination and think of all the possibilities. You can even throw different shapes out on the vacuum forming table uh, and just do a quick vacuum form for like if you want uh, abs or something like that or you know what other shapes we have around. We have all sorts of shapes so uh, that we use and so I hope that was informative uh, and uh, Let's see, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm just grateful the camera made it through. <laughs> we had some camera problems, so uh, that's it. So uh, you can vacuum form EVA foam and go out, have fun. Ah!